Hi, everybody. How about Adriana, huh? Wow. Uh, I, thanks, Adriana, for the introduction. It was very kind. I'd also like to thank uh, Chad and HRC for inviting me here to be uh, to, to speak. Um, I've been doing HRC dinners for and, and gatherings I'd, for a long time. And uh, it's always my honor. I'd like to acknowledge, take this moment to acknowledge everything that, uh, all the incredible work that HRC has done and continues to do to advance equality for the LGBT community. Uh, to the educators, the school counselors, and uh, child welfare professionals with us tonight, we owe you a enormous debt of gratitude your dedication to the well-being and success of our nation's students has a profound effect on, on children's lives and most especially on uh, for LGBT kids. Now, one of the issues I've been focused on uh, during my uh, time in the Senate is making our schools safe and accepting places for LGBT kids. Um, LGBT kids, uh, students in Minnesota and across the country uh, deserve to learn in an environment uh, free from discrimination, free from bullying, and, and from harassment. Uh, LGBT students deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. And far too often, that is just not what happens. Um, more than 30% of LGBT kids report missing a day of school in the previous month because they felt unsafe. More than 85% of LGBT kids say they've been verbally harassed at school. And nearly 35% of LGBT students report being physically attacked. You cannot learn if you dread going to school. And when LGBT students face taunts, intimidation, and violence in school, or when a transgender student is told by school administrators that he can't use the bathroom that corresponds to his gender identity, those students are deprived of an equal education. So that, that shouldn't happen in America, um, not constitutionally, uh, but it does. Uh, and that's right why I wrote a bill uh, called the uh, Student Non-Discrimination Act, or SENDA. <laughs> which would take the same protections uh, that kids uh, have against uh, uh, discrimination on the basis of race or sex or national origin and explicitly extend those protections to LGBT students. Now, we don't have enough votes to pass my bill just yet, but I am going to keep fighting. Now, passing a federal civil rights law that explicitly protects lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender kids is important, but that doesn't, uh, that doesn't mean that LGBT students don't have protection right now. Title IX is a federal law. 
that says that any, any institution receiving federal dollars, like a public high school or a college and many private universities, cannot treat students unequally on the basis of sex. In recent years, the Obama administration's Departments of Education and Justice made clear that Title IX's prohibition on sex discrimination also covers discrimination on the basis of gender identity providing vital protection to transgender students. But many schools didn't fully understand their obligation to transgender kids under Title IX. At the same time, legislators in states like North Carolina were pursuing discriminatory policies like HB2 that forbid transgender students from accessing appropriate bathrooms and locker rooms. So together with my friend, Senator Tammy Baldwin, I, I led a group of 40 senators in urging the Obama administration to issue comprehensive, accessible guidance on what Title IX means for transgender students and what the law requires of schools. And the Obama administration did just that. In May of last year, the Departments of Education and Justice issued guidelines that instructed schools on how to protect transgender students from discrimination. The guidelines also made crystal clear that under Title IX, public schools must allow transgender students to use the bathrooms and locker rooms that match their gender identity. Now this, This was a big win. This is a big win. Unfortunately, that hard-fought victory was short-lived. In February, the Trump administration scrapped those guidelines. Um, now, the Trump administration's decision to rescind Title IX guidance was callous and mean-spirited, and it sent a terrible message to LGBT children and their parents. But let's be clear, rescinding the guidelines didn't change the law. <laughs> and it didn't take away students' rights, even without the guidelines and the model policies issued issued by the Obama administration. Title IX still protects transgender students from discrimination and unequal treatment in our schools. And thanks to the courage of kids like Gavin Grimm in, in Gloucester County, Virginia, and Ash Whitaker in Kenosha, Wisconsin, Students who fought back when their schools refused to follow the law and took them, took them to court, that fact that this is a law is getting harder and harder to deny. I, firm, I firmly believe that my responsibility, not just as a senator, but as an adult, is to protect children and help them flourish. And I make that case over and over again to my colleagues in the Senate. We're adults. We're supposed to be protecting kids. So if President Trump or Secretary DeVos or Attorney General Sessions won't stand up for LGBT kids, I will. I will, I will keep fighting for policies that say clearly and unequivocally, unequivocally 
and unequivocally as well, <laughs> that trans students deserve to be treated with dignity and respect, and that lesbian, gay, and bisexual kids deserve, deserve to learn in an environment free from bullying and harassment. And working together, the teachers and the guidance counselors and administrators here with me in this room will make that happen. Thank you all for what you do to make schools safe and make them welcoming places for LGBT students. The work that you do is critically important. Your commitment to justice and your tireless advocacy for equality is what makes change possible. It's what is essential for change. And you are making it, and you make it every day. So on behalf of my colleagues in the Senate, those who support us, and even on behalf of the ones who don't, <laughs> but should be, and someday will know, someday they will know. On behalf of them, when they figure this out. <laughs> Thank you.